Hey guys, um, as per usual, a, a fantastic show. I really like Southgate, but there's a contrasting difference between international and club football management, and I'm not sure the latter suits him. Well, he hasn't really had the chance to find out, has he? Somebody else here, Simon, the Spurs fan, says I've got a wager on Eddie Howe at 40 to 1. He knows Ashworth well. They might need to sell at Newcastle, so it'll be limited going forward there. And uh, Paul, the Manchester United fan, Sir Jim will get Southgate. One thing Manchester United have not had in 10 years is harmony with the players. Mm. Southgate will <clears throat> bring this, which is a fair point, Ali. Absolutely. Very good point. I've always said, Jeff. I mean, a, a happy uh, and contented dressing room in no way, shape or form does it guarantee success, but it doesn't have help. It does indeed. All uh, right, let's discuss the news now that Arsenal are having to rely on Spurs to help them win the title after that victory against Manchester United yesterday. It's got that bad that former Arsenal man Perry Groves said this live on air yesterday. Come on, you Spurs! Oh, my God, did I just say that? Was that, not, was that in my head? Or did that just come out? <laughs> 0371722344, but you've got to be quick. Spurs fans, are you supporting City tomorrow night or do you still want Champions League football more than anything? Sean is a Spurs fan. Morning to you, Sean. Morning, Sean. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, Sean, what's your, what's your feeling? Are, are you hoping that Spurs beat <coughs> Manchester City tomorrow night and have a chance of a Champions League place? Guys, let me just tell you. I'd sooner have gout in every single toe on both of my feet, kidney stones, and my chat caught in my zip all at the same time than Arsenal win the league. <laughs> and it's that bad. My daughter is now married, and when her boyfriend, who was an Arsenal supporter, he wasn't allowed in the house until he had a Spurs shirt on. And I took a photo of it, and when they got married and I'd done my speech, I had it blown up into two foot high and passed it round to everyone, so all his family knew he was now Spurs. <laughs> I've just, I'm just got this vision of Sean with a kidney stones and the gout, and he's the old fella getting caught in the zip. I mean, that would have been agony. <laughs> that scared me, that thought. I can't even, have, I've not got a comment to make after that, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just thinking, sure, wouldn't the ideal scenario be for you to beat Manchester City and then Arsenal lose at home to Everton on Sunday? Well, that's not going to happen. Though. Let's be honest, Everton are rubbish and Arsenal are never going to lose to them. And I just, I mean, I, I've been home and away all over Europe, everywhere we've taught them. But believe me, I'll sacrifice all that. I cannot have Arsenal parading a trophy <laughs> around North London. Listen, no, get up. I'll take it, even if I have to have it for six months. I'm have you had gout before, Sean? <laughs> yeah, well, I've had, I've had worse than gout. I had what you call crow's feet, where I had to have all my toes broken and put rods in them. <laughs> oh, so no. Five weeks. I'd sooner have that, and I had to work walking these ridiculously funny boots. <laughs> Listen, I'm putting up with that for six months. No problem. You'll put up with that, but you cannot put up. You cannot put up with Arsenal <laughs> being champions. Oh, no. man, I live, man. You can take all my toes off if you like. I'm not having... <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not going to any extremes anyway, Sean. <laughs> uh, w w will you be at the game tomorrow? Uh, I will. I will. And I will sort of be hoping that we go one new up, so then Arsenal will all sort of celebrating and thinking it's great. <laughs> And then they come back and beat us. Not they beat us 2 1 and we play well. That's fine. I'll put up with that. That's great. I'd like to go 1 0 up until the 88th eight minute and then they get two late goals. <coughs> Oh, yeah, brilliant. Oh. Look, Sean, thanks for your call. Bro, really wait. enjoyed it, mate. I think, oh, I don't know what you think yourself, Jeff, but I think Sean has officially picked up warped support of the year award for this season which surely surely after that outburst. yes oh, it's just amazing um more on gareth southgate by the way ed the united fan here actually i'm interested in your reaction coys to hear southgate has done nothing <clears throat> to bring those players together at england oh. the culture of the country has changed people in general have changed and that is nothing to do with gareth southgate Nonsense. if he's appointed at old trafford i'm cancelling my season ticket i would disagree completely wouldn't you oh okay, absolute nonsense you look you look at the harmony they've got in their squad, you know what I mean? And to, to, to a certain degree, well, Stevie Clark's done the exact same with the Scottish boys. They, they now want to turn up, they now want to play for Scotland, they now want to play for each other, they enjoy it. And the England camp's the exact same. I don't care what anybody says. You look around that camp, you've got the young boys coming in, Saka and all those lads, and Harry Kane looking after them. No, they've got a great feeling that 
in that squad, and a lot of it is down to the way that Gareth. Yeah, I, I could not them. agree more. He's he's changed the culture. Of course he has. Absolutely. What have you got on today, mate? Quiet day today. Then I'm coming down, and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. I'm going to watch a bit of the obviously the game tonight. I've looked forward to that. And then uh, you and I'll have a chat about it tomorrow, I would imagine. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. I'm off to uh, to a brewery in Burton today. Yeah. Um, but I'm not allowed a drink. How about that? Oh, that's agony, that. That's, <laughs> that's nearly as bad as kidney stones. Yeah, and, and gout <laughs> and having your toes broken. <laughs> oh, he, oh. he called her bluff there, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I've got a final text. He said, please clip the gout phone call uh, for future use. Incredible. Laugh Uh-oh. out loud. We'll certainly do that. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.